Charities, though, are concerned that some animals could be abandoned, are warning people to be aware of unscrupulous sellers. Our reporter, Frankie McCamley, is at an RSPCA centre in East Surrey this morning, and I imagine I can just see some rather cute furry friends you're with this morning, Frankie. Yes, they are so adorable. I think I'm falling in love with every single one of them this morning. But this is another animal centre, one of many across the country that say they are bursting at the seams with pets that need rehoming during lockdown. Now, this charity is joining lots of others across the country, as well as celebrities and the government, warning people of the dangers of buying pets during lockdown. Now, what's happening as we all stay at home and do our gardens up, we turn to introducing a furry little friend to our family. But what's happening is criminals are taking advantage of the rise in demand that's outstripping supply and they're pushing up prices and um, breeding sick pets and then leaving some that they can't sell abandoned on the side of the road like these cute little kittens here. And we're just going to head outside to go and meet some more furry friends and to meet some of the staff and find out exactly what's been going on during lockdown on this beautiful sunny day this morning in Surrey. Now here is Amy and Nancy. Lovely to meet you and thank you so much Nancy for coming to join us on BBC Breakfast this morning. Um, Amy just tell us a little bit more about what's happening. Um, we're having a huge problem at the moment. Um, we've seen a big spike in abandonments, which we're concerned is going to get worse as lockdown eases. We're in the middle of kitten season, so we've got kittens coming out of our ears. Um, and unfortunately, we are ending up with animals like Nancy and like the kittens you just met because people just can't look after them at the moment. And um, you, you're, you're doing a big campaign with celebrities and the government. What's that about? Tell me a bit more. Yes, yeah, so we're working really closely with um, DEFRA and with other charities and like you say, lots of celebrities have wanted to get involved, which is really great. Um, it's, it's an issue which I think is close to everybody's hearts. Everybody loves puppies and kittens, but what people unfortunately don't realise is that there's lots of unscrupulous people out there who want to cash in on the demand for these animals and they do that at the expense of the health and welfare of the animals. So we're really just trying to educate the public so that they can responsibly source puppies and kittens and so that we can keep all of our furry friends safe. Okay so just give us a bit of a checklist. What should people look for if they want to go and um, pick up a furry little friend? <laughs> so we'd always ask people to adopt and not shop. Um, rescue centres across the country are full of animals like little Nancy here. We've actually got more than 6,000 animals in our care at the moment um, if they do want to buy do lots of research make sure that you um, see your puppies and kittens with mum um, and also use our puppy contract or our kitten checklist that are available online to help you buy a happy healthy animal um, but the main thing is if you're concerned about anything walk away and report your concerns to the RSPCA to the police or to trading standards Wonderful. Thank you ever so much and thank you for joining us. So really the advice today is do your research before you get a, job, a dog and make sure you have the time and the space to look after them, especially as we start to come out of lockdown and we all return to work. So dogs like Nancy will always have a happy home, won't you? Yes, you will. I think I'm falling in love. <laughs> she is perfectly behaved, Frankie. Is she as good off camera as, well as, as, she well, as much as she is on camera? Well, we've had to get to know each other a little bit this morning, haven't we? Because at first, um, at first it was a little bit t uh, hit and miss, but now we're good friends, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> can we, Frankie, just get close, close in on Nancy, the final shot for us, so we can leave? Can we sit? Oh, <laughs> there we go. So cute. Uh, is it me? Is it me?